We're having our first annual inaugural Texas 4-H uh, Vet Science Camp here held during Texas 4-H Roundup for young people that have the ambition of one day either becoming vet assistants, vet techs, or uh, veterinarians. And so this week during the camp, they're learning uh, uh, equine practices, they're learning uh, small and large ruminant practices, as well as small and um, uh, small animal practices over at the College of Veterinary Medicine. And so we want to be very efficient. We don't want Some to of the work here at the Beef Cattle Center, we've got Dr. Joe Pascal, Dr. Dr. Meredith Jones, uh, Dr. Tom Hairgrove, and we're working with Shootside Manors using some live cattle because a lot of these students are urban uh, 4-H members that don't have the opportunity to work with um, live large animal or food grade animals. And so we've done some Shootside Manors. We've actually gone through the chute and looked for obstacles that maybe cattle would uh, pick up, uh, maybe if it's a chain hanging or maybe sharp uh, objects. Uh, Dr. Meredith Jones is also talking about uh, injection site preparation on beef cattle as well as how to put halters on, how to use nose tongs, and other equipment that we might use as far as a pistol grip syringe or even an ear tagger. So how do we process these cattle once we get them in the chute? These students are, are uh, of course, vet science students, and, and it's, as they go on through the program, many of them will probably uh, or, or potentially go on in, into veterinary medicine, either as veterinarians or veterinary technicians. And, we just think it's real important that we start training these students young. In other words, if they start understanding the, 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 the reasons for beef quality assurance uh, and everything at a very young age, then it's going to more likely just become part of their culture as they get older. Basically, what we're doing with them here is we're trying to, they have to ha uh, be checked off with several skills. So, so, of course, yesterday we did the equine, today we're doing the bovine. So. Uh, what we're trying to do today is, is we're trying to go through those skill sets, putting the halter on, taking a temperature, examining the cow, uh, understanding how cattle move, a little bit about just the fundamentals of basic stockmanship, animal husbandry, and, uh, and then uh, again trying to instill that in early. But as we was putting this program together, beef quality assurance sure fit into it. And, and we're, we're covering all the issues. So when they finish tonight, they will have the, uh, all the training that, uh, that any producer would have for, for initial beef quality assurance.